So Christ is the image, is the photo of invisible God. I will give you this example that uh, this is the example that it will able it will make you to understand very properly. <laughs> and allow me to use this example so that you can understand what I'm saying. And for those who are watching me, join me every Friday and not only every Friday, also Sunday, Wednesday. I am always live. And when you have something also, when you have a request, just put on my own, put on, put on the comment set, section. When you, have, when, you, when you need any prayer, you need any assistance. So this is the announcement that I'm making to anyone who is watching, even right now, anyone who is watching. So if you have, if you have any, any request, prayer request you, if you have any challenge, you can ask and put those challenge on or any prayer request on the comment section and God will, will help you. He will be able to fulfill the desire of your heart. <coughs> so I will use this example. Everyone knows the ID, knows the ID. And the ID has the photo of you. On the, on the ID, there is a photo of you. So what is the reason of that photo? It is, it, it is to show that that ID is yours. That photo shows that that ID is yours. <clears throat> that is the same thing. Jesus is the photo of God. Jesus is, is the photo that shows that we are in the image of God, Jesus himself. Is that photo. And remember, the photo is you. And the photo cannot talk, the photo cannot speak, the photo cannot do anything. But you will say that this one is you. The person on the photo can say that person is you. But the photo cannot speak, cannot walk, cannot do anything. But you will say this photo is someone. This is the picture of someone. We can say that. That is the same thing. Christ is a man, came as a man, is a man. He came as a man, is a man. And as a man, you know, a man you can eat, you can also, you can also die as a man. You see? As a man you can sleep. You sleep like any any other person. He play like any other person. But God himself is more than that. God cannot die. God, God, God cannot even God even does not does not eat. God is eternal, is bigger. But a man can do those things. But we say that a man is the image of God. So Christ is the image of God. Why Christ is the perfect image of God? Because only he he was able to fulfill the law. He was able. Only him is righteous. No one is righteous. Only Jesus Christ is righteous. That's why is the perfect image of God. Is the perfect image. Only Christ. So this one is to tell you that stop arguing that say Jesus is not God. Jesus is not God. No. Jesus is the image of God. So if the photo is you, that means Jesus is God because it's the photo of God. And God used his photo, his image, to dwell among us. That's why the name is Emmanuel, which means God with us. Which means God with us. Even in the book of John chapter 1 verse 18, the scripture says that no one at any time has ever seen God. No one has ever seen God at any time. Only the begotten Son, who is God himself, or who is as the same as God, he is the one who has explained who is God. He is the one who has given us wisdom to understand who is God. No one has ever done that. 
Only Christ has explained who is God and how, how God operates is only Christ. Christ is the one who speaks with the waves. He walked on the water. Christ was, the, was able to even to forgive sins. Who can do that one? And who can say that I am the way, the truth, and the life? No one can pass, can go to the Father ex except through me. No one can, no one, who, who is able to say that? No one. It's only God himself. So, when God walked here, he walked with his image. He was the one operating in the flesh here. God was operating. And God was, was the one who is, was able to redeem us, redeem, redeem us from sin through his son. What is the meaning of son? A son means your image. That is a son. That is the meaning of a son. 